good morning how are we doing today so um we're doing this again we're doing this again we're trying this over it's a do-over day you know what i'm saying so i don't know what the order of the videos is going to be posted but uh i am on my way to the doctors once again and we are retaking the glucose test because i failed the first time i didn't fail the test but i failed in actually doing the test because i had the blizzard and the blizzard made me too full to take down the glucose drink and we had this whole do-over situation so we are getting close to the third trimester we got a whole nother like two weeks to go so not super close but not super far it's exciting it's nerve-wracking i feel like this time um when it comes to having baby it's a lot not a lot but but more things to potentially think and stress about than the first time um because one we changed our health insurance so the health insurance we got i feel like it's not as good as it was before so david ended up changing jobs and changing job you change insurance and the insurance we got we have to pay a lot more out of pocket and that includes visits like so right now typically how it goes depending on the insurance is um when you have a baby they like bill you a good amount the first appointment and then after that it goes uh you don't pay until at at the end of everything so now we're potentially looking at paying every single appointment like our first appointment with Nala, we only paid three hundred dollars, and then we paid again. I think at the end, and I think we only paid like another two hundred some dollars, um, and that was it. But this time we're looking at paying a hundred dollars an appointment. Like that is a drastic difference. On top of that, with our insurance previously, um, we only paid two hundred fifty dollars for. Um, the labor and delivery so we was in the hospital for four days and we only paid 250 dollars this time mm, we're looking more into the thousands but with the insurance he got like added insurances on top of the insurance to help pay for the delivery so um and that gives us extra two thousand dollars towards delivery and medical expenses and stuff like that but still like technically that stuff that money isn't free if you're paying 60 something dollars extra a month for these extra expenses so it's kind of like getting a discount more than like giving it as an incentive all in all too about time we paid the hundred dollars appointment plus delivery that two thousand dollars would probably already be like we technically paid that anyway but anyway uh, I just kind of wanted to give some insight to how it works but typically that's how it goes you pay like 300 or maybe 3500 at first prenatal appointment and then so on and so forth depending on insurance is how everything goes but we just have more to think about with that on top of that you know y'all know that I haven't really talked about strollers too too much lately but at the same time I feel like I'm always talking about strollers but um y'all know black friday just passed so there was like a lot of deals with the upper baby so we was waiting on the black friday sale to do the upper baby thing but what we end up deciding to do was wait until the new one come out so i really wanted to get the deals but at the same time when we calculated everything that we needed to create the double stroller for the upper baby it ended up being like okay so the upper baby deal that they were doing on was like a specific color and the color that they did it on was uh the william gray i probably posted right here i said the william gray but the william it's a blue color ish type thing and that i really didn't want that especially with me and makeup throwing stuff around stuff i just knew i was gonna get that dirty so i really didn't want that and that cost 926 dollars for the whole like shabam and the one that we could use a deal on that was kind of nice was like 946 dollars and then the one we really wanted that we could get a, a deal on uh was 991 dollars but the thing was is 
I was gonna buy it off of Bye Bye Baby's website and use the coupon registry code, which was like 15% off, which brought it up to $991. So it was only like a $50 difference in using the coupon registry versus the Black Friday sale. So what I decided to do was, I'm gonna go ahead and wait for the 2020, cause I really want the 2020 anyway, because I know when the 2020 come out and I start seeing it around, I'm gonna feel all types of ways. So I decided that I wanna wait until they, start on start selling on Baba Baby's website and use the 15% off discount code on the new ones and pay like the $80 difference for a new version a bigger toddler seat plus better colors better quality I feel from what I've seen and just be happy with life so I'm gonna try to be patient once in my life and to wait on the 2020 which is in February it's due to come out the end of February so hopefully my coupon runs out on Valentine's Day so I'm hoping that at least comes available on their website um, around February and then I use it and we get it in February and then um, and pick it up about time so if it if it end up coming to where the baby comes before the stroller i probably ain't going to be going nowhere anywhere anytime soon the first two weeks outside of the first doctor's appointment which should be interesting if i don't have a double stroller but we'll figure it out i'll probably use a baby carrier and a stroller or something like that but it won't be long after we'll figure it out if i gotta get somebody to like watch nala while i take new baby to doctor then we'll just do that um but we'll just figure out life um so that is kind of an update on that um but it is 10 o'clock currently so let me get ready to take this drink hopefully it goes better than it went last time so let me put you on the tripod so this is kind of what we're working with so let's go ahead and do the drink so this time the drink is a lot colder because I had it in the refrigerator for a week. So it is 10.04. So I got five minutes or seven minutes. I think it's five minutes. Five minutes, I should know. Uh, five minutes to down it, which bring me at roughly uh, 10.09. And then we'll go from there. So I should be fine though, because I didn't eat and I had a little bit of coffee. That's it. Well, I had a small cake. Don't judge me. So, like I said before, the first time, I said that this tastes like a cheap, a really cheap uh, 25 cent juice that you have to poke your finger through and squeeze it, and it looks like it's in a TNT like shape container. Yeah, that's what this tastes like. I'd definitely be fine now, cause I'm almost, it's fine. All done. My tea bread. Drop that in like one minute, it's, by the time I really actually drunk it, it was like, it just turned 10 5, it's only 10 6, so. Drink that in one minute. I highly suggest getting the uh, fruit punch version. Yeah, I have my tongue all red. <laughs> the, fruit the fruit punch version, I heard the lime version is really bad. The orange one I heard was like difficult too. So like I said, get the fruit punch version. And that was pretty simple. It's not like good or anything. And it's not like not bad. <laughs> I don't know. When I actually took the first, uh, glucose test I realized that it was one week after I took it the first time with Nala so it's that showed you how close like all the appointments are or as far as the babies when like all my appointments are pretty identical or uh, whatnot but anyway we still haven't found out baby names that is not a thing it's not happening I tried to entertain figuring it out the other day y'all talk to David because he ain't even trying to think about it low-key also too um, I am having a baby shower a Christmas themed baby shower so um, I'm trying to do a lot of shopping last minute for that and I'm so sad because tomorrow I go back to work <sighs> working five days now it's a total strain 
Like, even when after the babies and whenever life decides to put me back at work, it's going to be so hard to work a 9 to 5 Monday to Friday. Like, I don't want to do it. I don't see me doing it. I need to come up and utilize all these little baby talents I have and do something with them. But, I don't know. I don't know. But I definitely want to do something. I need, I need to have my own because working for someone... I'm slowly realizing that it's either that I need to work for a company that I'm very independent or work for myself. Preferably work for myself. But even if even in working for myself, I have to make enough money to where I can still pay for someone to watch the girls. But it's just a whole lot of transition right now. We're entertaining the idea of giving up our master room for the girls because of how small our rooms are. Because right now they're taking up three rooms. So the one thing that we're running into is what about when new baby is sleeping in a room even though I'm going to be in a room is the new baby waking up now. And that's what we're running into because I assume with the whole night machine that it would be fine. But at the same time, the new baby ain't going to be on the same schedule as Nala because Nala wakes up, I mean, sleeps from 8 to about 6 in the morning. So she's a very good sleeper. But the baby's going to be waking up every two hours. So how does that combat? Because we don't want the new baby who's going to be sleeping all the time in the beginning, the first three months, waking up Nala. Part of me wants to still move. Because even if it's not now, and it's in three, when baby's like four or five months or six months, I don't want to deal with swapping around my whole house when the baby's six months because it's just going to be me and the girls by myself because David is not getting the maternity leave essentially that he had with the old job which sucks right now part of me almost wishes that he's transitioned after because it's just a whole lot more to stress about and it makes me really sad but he's only getting five days off and that's it um but with Nolly he got six weeks off and plus you know the whole delivery all that stuff was just like we had it in the bag but now it's like it's gonna be me. We're gonna have to take Nala out of daycare to save that money because to prepare for me not working and all that stuff. So it's just gonna be hectic. So I don't know where I'm gonna be at emotionally when it comes to trying to transition the house. I don't know. You see I'm all over the place. But anyway, enough talking. This scene probably get boring. But tell me what you think. I don't know if I'm going to already start doing stuff. Uh, well, I already have to switch the nursery in the, in the guest room. So I'm going to start doing that. And if I didn't do it already and made a life decision by then, I'll probably end up doing something. But tell me what you think that I should do down in the comments below and your opinion. Now, if you are one of those people that feels like there's no reason, no matter how complicated, no matter how small my house is or whatever, I would never give up my, my master room for a kid. There's no point in commenting because I just kind of want to get an idea of how to maybe manipulate the rooms and situation, not necessarily for people who would never give up the room because that just brings negative energy. I understand there are people like that. There are very, people that are very traditional. I get it. I got it. You know, whatever. But to me, it's not a big deal. I'm more about functionality than right now. Functionality doesn't make sense for our girls who with one stuff with one baby is taking up three rooms so i can only imagine what's gonna happen when the next baby come when we accumulate more stuff well things look fine today i guess they've been kind of keeping an eye on your cervix because they're a little worried about the shortening but it looks longer than it was last time yeah um, it kind of varies i yeah. noticed if i'm like fours to threes yeah, yeah. And that's all fine, you know, as long as you have a history as you do before of, of going all the way to term, essentially. I mean, I guess you're just barely over it, 37 weeks. When you yeah, yeah. So. in a day. Um, 
So yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't keep chucking it. And baby's been kicking you okay now, I would think. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Usually there's plenty of that now. She's stuffed in there, so yeah. And let's see, are we doing sugar test today? Yeah, glucose. Glucose. So you already drank the stuff, or mm-hmm. did they do it last time? Mm-hmm. Or this time, okay. Yeah, last time I didn't make it. And you passed it uh, the, with the, the last baby? Time, yeah. Okay, good. good. Well, chances are you'll pass it again. And if anything comes back elevated, we'll give you a call. We usually get a result back within a week or so. Okay. Uh, and, yeah, everything seems to be going better this time. Good, good. Okay. Just a lot smaller than always this time. Like, could be different. You're smaller this yeah, time? Yeah. Can I ask you a question? Sure. So some people feel like it's unhealthy. I, I'm not concerned, but so I was asking me about the healthiness of checking at home with those little dopplers. I don't have any concern. You mean like with one of these yeah. guys? Yeah. The only issue is some people, they do it, and they can't, I mean, sometimes it can be a little tricky to hear. And yeah. Take a couple minutes, and people freak themselves out, they don't mm-hmm. hear it, and then they come flying in here at 90 miles an hour think their baby's dead. Mm-hmm. And it's almost always not the case. Yeah. So that's the only risk you run, is you can really freak yourself out. But as far as, like, the sound wave, it's just yeah. sound waves. And, like, we're talking right now, baby's getting sound waves. You know oh, what I mean? Okay. So it's not a big difference. Okay. It's not high-intensity sound. You know, high-intensity sound has some risks, but that's... That's not what's going on, so I, I would don't worry. About okay, that. Um, I was just wondering. If I'm we not worried about it. Then we would try it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no. I, I would. Yeah. It's just basically this is ultrasound, so it's using sound waves to bounce at something and then bounce them back. And um, it's not like radiation or anything. Absolutely no radiation yeah. whatsoever. Mm-hmm. Nope. There's nothing radioactive. Oh, okay. You can't find anything radioactive. Uh, other than a smoke detector. Yeah, I mean, I, I thought that was a little weird that if it is, I would think you need more signature sound for right. something like that. Yeah. yeah, no, it's just sound. Okay. Hi, you guys. So, I am back home. Clearly, it is a lot of time later. It's currently like one something, two o'clock probably in the afternoon i'm just getting back home uh the appointment wasn't that long i just i'm just getting here it took me over an hour and 10 minutes to get home and it's just a whole lot whole lot of but i'm just home now and i thought i should give you an update on how the appointment went so um after you guys last saw me i made it to my appointment on time then i end up talking to them about my insurance change which was more hectic than it should have been um they didn't charge me at this current appointment um it was just a lot of processing and stuff like that so i guess if anything they'll bill me child but um i end up taking my glucose which i won't get the results back for another week so they said that if it was bad they'll hear from me if it wasn't i won't so when i went to see the doctor which is a new doctor and it was really quick um he just basically looked at my history trying to figure out why they still try to see me it was like well it seems like everything been consistent because you um made it full time which is everyone's statement they'll just go ahead and see me for a month so this is the first time since seeing them that i'll be um actually waiting till one month instead of two weeks so i've been seeing her every two weeks david ain't really pressed about it because he is more so excited about not having to make a huge payment <laughs> uh every time we go and everything seems fine i did get a cervical check my cervix length was around 3.9 so that's about what it's been the last like one or two appointments um the only thing was kind of weird i think towards the last check most of the checks was in the threes um today but that was the appointment in a nutshell so um they were really adamant about being a stickler on time for the glucose test so if this is your first time taking the glucose test just know that punctuality is key in the situation they literally ran me out of the waiting room to make sure that i was key point on time so if you're not on time and something happens they uh reschedule you so make sure you're on time for that 
but now i am home and i'm trying to figure out life if i'm able to figure out the situations of cleaning out the house and um organizing the room or trying to edit it's been like five or six days since i posted the video i think i'm guessing she knowing me it's probably about five or six days but if i start to do some of the cleaning slash um christmas stuff i'll let you know otherwise it might be all for this video and we'll see how it goes all right bye